Annabelle Short reporting for CPUT News and you will be watching a short documentary on the Cape Town water crisis. We are situated here at the St James Spring where we will be finding out how people along the Southern Peninsula are handling the water crisis and whether the springs are helpful to them. So I make this special effort even though I'm this age. I also want to be part of saving the water of our country. And um, it is an effort, it's a huge effort coming all the way, about 15 kilometers, to come and have water drawn from here. But the problem that I have, 25 liters when it's full, I cannot lift it up. Then I rely on whoever is here as a man, I could just put it into my boot and take it home for me. Because you can see this can, the 25 liter can, if I put it in this area, I cannot lift it because I'm 66 years old, I'm a pensioner, but because I must also play my part where this is concerned, I come every week here to fill about three of the 25 liters and five of the five liters water, and that is sufficient for me to use for the week. Although the new Newland Spring is a very popular water collection spot for many Capetonians, the fact that this spring in Spring Road has closed down still holds many obstacles for residents who live close by, especially those who are old and cannot walk far distances to collect their water. It was never such a, a lot of people coming here because most of the people before just used to collect drinking water. But since the government spoke about uh, day zero, everybody panicked and they came and then only it starts here because everybody panicked for day zero. I've always been happy, I mean I've been here as I said for 30 years, no complaints until this. It, it's not so much the water, it's the way people behave when they come in here. They don't care about anybody, I mean they used to park here everywhere. They could find a little place like this, they park. And then sometimes they, they used to get stuck themselves. Yeah. And then they, it made no difference as long as they could get to the water. We are now situated at the newly built Newland Spring behind the Newland Spur parking lot. This spring has got 16 taps and has been made available since the 9th of May to all residents in the city of Cape Town. My water usage at home has dropped drastically. We are very conscious of saving water these days and yet our water bill is not decreasing. It's like this has become part of life now. I live in Ottery, so it's about it's only about six kilometers for me to drive, but I'm one of the fortunate ones that can actually come here and collect and I used to collect water at SAB springs and now we over here so hopefully it will be uh, it will be better over here because there are more taps over here. Started over there about two years ago a friend and I collected water there were only about four taps and then they increased it to eight and now we've got 16 over here. Perfect. So hopefully it will be uh, it will be better. So here we are at the Newlands SAB spring. As you can see there's still a lot of activity a lot of people are doing to collect water Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go inside and film the people. However, we are still here to check out the news. Well, we save water in every way that we can. Um, bucket system, shower, catch the rainwater. This few days we've been catching the rainwater, um, reusing it for washing, whatever we can use it for. And um, but the water bill, price on water doesn't come down. Seeing that we're saving as much as we can, it's actually end up paying more actually. All in all, the Cape Town Springs have proven to be successful. One problem that has arisen is despite huge efforts to save water, Cape Townians are still receiving large water bills at the end of the month. We hope our documentary provided a deeper understanding into water collection spots around the Cape. Thank you for watching our documentary on a closer look into the Cape Town Springs. We hope that you are being a water warrior and saving water during the water crisis. Thank you so much. I'm Annabelle Short, reporting for CPUT News.